Hi gamers, I'm Cyber Settler and today we are playing Space Engineers. Today I present you the successor of the Eagle Transporter. Well, in fact, this is like a smaller version uh, or this vessel is inspired by the Eagle Transporter but it has uh, like great differences uh, in the how it uh, it looks right in the in the form shape. Um, but it uh, works based on the same principle so basically it's like a, a big um, space crane I would say so here we have the familiar um, uh, elements by the way I have in the background uh, the previous Eagle transporter or one of uh, the last versions I made and as you can see, the, the new one is slightly um, shorter. So uh, now the capacity here, the, 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 the length of the, of the uh, loading area or the cargo area is about five blocks. In the previous one, it was seven, as you can see. So we could easily fit um, seven long blocks or seven long blocks um, uh, modules in in here uh, as the payload uh, in this one is um, smaller so now uh, the area is about three um, three blocks and um, yeah, there, there are some, there are several differences, right? So one thing is that uh, I, I minimized everything, like uh, just the, the, I just left uh, the basic things that, that it needs to transport cargo. And um, I'm using the industrial cockpit uh, as in the previous version uh, but for example the the impulse engine I just left one impulse engine uh, before we had four and um, also I um, I'm using like this piston uh, based um, landing gears with uh, magnetic plates this is what I'm using right now And we have um, also an, an innovation is this um, catwalk I place all around. Uh, in the back we have, well previously we had um, more space in the back, but now I'm uh, using only a, this is a nuclear reactor. There's a nuclear reactor and behind the nuclear reactor is a um, oxygen hydrogen generator and that's it like there's nothing else in the back part in the back in the aft section nothing else and as you can see I left it, left it like bare bones like I don't have any kind of um, um, what's called shell or uh, recovering every uh, covering everything but um, yeah it's just uh, the, 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 the the functional components basically very little um, armor around so this is um, hydrogen um, tank so I have four of them so it's basically a, like a double T uh, shape right so you have the, 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 the middle part is the the crane let's say uh, where we have the cargo and then in the in the back and in the front you have like this T shape where um, the the legs uh, or the, or what was the the pods before as you can see here we had um, these pods but now we have um, really strip down uh, everything it's like a very functional structure so uh, 
we have this hydrogen tank and to it we, ha we have a um, coupled uh, conveyor on, at the top uh, gyro uh, then uh, below it we have um, cargo containers so at the end we have four cargo containers and then the engine and from there we have um, also hanging the, the landing gear and then an RCS thruster cluster here basically that's it and this uh, remote control the cockpit and what we have I will show you inside is very very simple so here inside um, we have this section this is meant to be um, um, airlock and then here we have the cockpit so basically that's it nothing else very very simple so one thing is that of course since it, this is smaller it has uh, less mass it's easier to uh, to pilot and what I want to do today is make some tests with a uh, with the modules so let's head uh, I have a module here uh, this is an old module like uh, a module that is compatible with the a, with a old um, Eagle Transporter um, design but um, it's not anymore the case uh, that um, it's compatible with, with this one By the way, the, 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 the way I um, pilot this, uh, or the way it's supposed to, it's called to, to um, move, is basically the same way as, uh, as, the, as the old Eagle Transporter. That means that I have um, the lift uh, thrusters. Now we have four and they um, they provide like uh, the the vertical um, stability right so what i do is that i turn off the rcs so i leave the dampers on so this uh, flight assist that um, makes the 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 ship all the time static and if you move to in one direction then it, it, it will compensate and um, halt the, 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 the ship so I, I will show you uh, if you play um, Space Engineer you are, you are familiar with this so I go forward this is with dampeners on right so it doesn't it doesn't go far if I uh, release the dampeners then I'm in free flight mode but then I have to keep keep um, thrusting up to maintain the uh, the altitude. But if I just turn off the RCS and leave the the lift thrusters on, then you see that the ship is stable, and then I can move forward, and it will remain like by inertia. It it's moving it stays moving forward because there's no no um, thruster active that that will compensate for the uh, horizontal movement if I turn on the horizontal th that, like the RCS thrusters then it will stop so this is the, the way I want to um, I want to pilot the ship um, okay so you can see here this is uh, uh, like an old um, component this is not compatible anymore so 
if I I will just um, drive backwards ah backwards it, it doesn't work like that I have to So let's um Let's get close to the m to the com to the module There we have it. Stop here and let's go closer. And probably at this point it, it will be clear that it's not compatible. Yeah, we can move it closer. Let's um, take the, the the exterior view. But you can see here. You see, it's too big for the for the module. the The module is too big for the ship. I mean. So let's do something. Well, one thing is that. Um, one thing that prevents the um, the 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 old module to be compatible is um, two extra pistons I placed uh, in the crane, and I will show you shortly. Oops. Okay. So let's see. First, let's. Um, I want to show you something before um, getting into this um, module stuff. So I will uh, extend the the landing gear pistons. They are extending for around uh, yeah, 10 meters, right? More or less. So there, this is how it looks like. And now let's, l let's land. And I, I guess we can build the new module just below the... The, uh, the Eagle Transporter. There. There we have it. So what I wanted to show you is that I made um, what what are these uh, two extra pistons used for? So this is what I did here. So yeah, it's it's a like um, an elevator is used to access the ship. Now it's a it's a little bit tall here, but we can regulate that uh, with the um, landing gear. Like the landing gear doesn't have to extend so much. 
so basically you can just you you could just customize the the height but for our purpose now it's okay because we are going to um use um uh, we're going to use that extra space to to build the, the module the, a new module that is compatible with that with the with the previous one with a sorry with a with this new um eagle transporter and uh yeah the the other piston is the same right it's, it's also meant to be like a, an access platform and the reason why i made two of them is to to have symmetry in the ship so symmetry is important because i'm using a mod that uh, takes into account the offset of the thrusters so because um if you play uh, space vanilla uh, space engineers um no matter where you put the thrusters they will um exert the the force in the center of mass so it doesn't care where you put them it's like they are all placed in the center of mass with this uh, mod as you can see here we are we are displaying the center of mass is this um, symbol you see here the the um, pink ball with a yellow um, axis uh, that means uh, that um, the center of mass of this ship is here and as you can see it's uh, very much aligned to the um, uh, connector that is at the center of the ship so this ship is very sy symmetrical not only in the um, in this axis right uh, like um, star port starboard axis but also uh, in this other axis like the bow aft um, axis as well so that guarantees that we don't have issues with uh, with um, the torque that the thrusters exert, exert over the ship so let's um, let's try to build um, a very basic uh, module that is compatible with this uh, new version of the Eagle Transporter so basically what we will have is mm, let's try to, to make make it um, very simple at first we need a leg a landing gear let's make a landing gear here and then what i would like to make um let's let's make um a container module a, a storage module or yeah because one thing uh, about the new design is that it's meant to be compatible with uh, these uh, blocks that are um three by three right like this one this is a three by three um this is one of the of the biggest um of of the biggest uh, blocks that you can have in space engineers there are, there are others that are bigger for example the the, the advanced refinery but m most of them like this um large cargo container or also if you uh, consider like these um, uh, big tanks they're also three by three you see so we can make if if this ship is meant to transport stuff like for example 
cargo or storage containers or or or, um, or hydrogen tanks then it makes sense to to be uh, compatible with a three by three um, volume so here at the center we would place um, a connector right and then to the sides we will connect we will have um, merge blocks ah but we cannot do that okay uh, yeah so what we need is something like this let's say we could have something like that and then we can have the the merge blocks the uh, yeah well this uh, this system works with merge blocks i think that we could use um magnetic plates but with merge blocks is very um stable once once the the the, the, the module is merged to the main ship well there are several advantages because it becomes like part of the ship and you can control it uh, from the ship so this um, gives um, yeah certain certain functionality that otherwise you couldn't have okay so maybe what uh, this is very basic like we can we can have something like this it will work Uh, probably I will need a camera mm, where can we put that camera a camera in the yeah very much aligned to the to the connector I will place it here uh, in the in the pipes like this i think that's a good place to to have the 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 camera and we will be looking at that We will be looking through that camera. Yeah, that's very good. So now, what we have to do is first um, disengage the, the landing gear. And now, um, the other thing I want to do is to retract the, the landing gear so it doesn't get in the way. as you can see the this this process is very um, straightforward there we go ah uh, there's some issue ah uh, yes yeah, I know what what is going on. Probably, I think the um, it could be that this block is having trouble with the others. It says that it cannot merge. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what is going on here.
let's um we need to turn off the the connector probably because it's just um yeah this connector has like this magnetic field Yeah, you can see there that the, like the the camera was going into the other block. So probably the the camera is the problem. So let's well not the camera or the should we say the ah wait. There's another thing that I could do. There's this block from the NASA mod that I like very much. Oh, uh, where is it? NASA blocks. I guess it's this one. It's like a structure, but yeah, there. I think this is a very handy now we can remove this and what we need is the half block and i think this will let us do the merge at the end that's better okay let's try it again i'm pretty sure that it was the camera so let's go again. I mean, I think the the this model can be improved. Maybe there there are several small things that can be improved, but the general concept I'm I'm happy with it. I think it's a very um, oh still cannot merge. We still cannot merge. Yep. Well, I think the problem is is um, something different. And I think um, I know what it is. Let's change that. So again, we have to turn this off. We have to look at the camera and... So, in my previous design, this is what I think is going on. In my previous design, I have this layout right here. And this, um, as you can see, the merge blocks are not flush with, uh, with, um, with the crane structure. And also, the um, connector is not flush. And this is what I have... When I was doing this, I was thinking, well, maybe I would have problems with this flush um, design here. Anyways, I wanted to try, but yeah, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. So uh, we will change that. And the way... Oops. I removed the wrong... Let's see... Yeah, uh, we will have to place uh, temporal blocks or, yeah, temporal, let's place a temporal block here. Is that enough? Ah, yes, I see now what's the problem. Yeah, no, it's this, the problem is not the, 
is not this uh, part. And I wonder if the catwalk will get in the way as well. So the best How can we do this? The best would be to Yeah, at the end we we have somehow to either move the 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 Yeah, let's do that. We're we're go we're going to have to change the this uh, mm, crane structure. This this uh, um, how it's called. It's like the backbone of the of the ship. And this will not work. So. Yeah, the the thing would be this. We will have to... Have it like that. This is, this is the solution here. This is how it will work. Um... No, not like that, but like this. Either we move it like that, yeah, like this. So if we move it like this, like the, 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 the backbone structure, then we can have the merge block this way. And you see now this structure is moved uh, away from from the, the 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 point of contact here of the of the merge block is but uh, but what i'm um i'm trying to determine now is if we do it like that or we do it um, instead of doing it uh, at that height we can do it a block um, below and that would be yeah that would be like this like that but then we have to to change well then let me do it um, the right way um, not with this temporal block but uh, like this like that we will have it like that and and then the merge block you see what I mean? Okay, but it's not there, but there. And I think this is not a bad idea because at the end what we want is the yeah to to get out of the way uh, like we are we are not like we are not suffering from a lack of space uh, uh, below the the backbone the 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 structure the superstructure if you would like to call it like that 
but the problem is that it's too close to the structure and in that way we don't have to move the catwalk you see the catwalk is perfectly fine at um, at that height and if we look at our previous design yeah it makes sense you see it's the same now so also the, the, the catwalk won't interfere with the merging so probably this is the best um, way to go and then I'm, I'm quite um, confident that we will have um, a successful merge Okay, so you are s looking at the process of designing. Process of design, I would say. Or the designing process. However you like to say. But you know what I mean. Okay, and this one... Damn it, I forget. Ah, this one is not joining here. Okay, but this will... Probably this is uh, going to fall. We are good. Yeah, and um, yeah, this this um, connector also will will have to we will have to move it. We will have to move that as well. Yeah, so I wanted to show you guys um, this process. Like, I, I didn't test this before because I wanted you to see how I did... Um, how the designing process works. Like, I thought, well, it may work, but if it doesn't work, then I can show um you guys how how we can fix things well let me know if you if you like this kind of um, exercise because sometimes i think that also you you could be interested in looking at all these processes Okay, so that's that's a big refactoring right here. But I think this will be an improvement, definitely. This will be an improvement of the design. It's um it's even more in line with uh, like it has a lower profile now. Ah, here we will have yeah the we will have the merge block here. So we are almost done here and now the um, the connector let's place the connector should we put it like this yeah Okay, but look at this. This this really an improvement. Let's use first the pipes. Where are the pipes? And these ones. These ones. 
I think this is an improvement. I won't place the catwalk just yet because I want to make sure or should I? Maybe I should because um, we want to make sure that the catwalk is not getting in the way. And if you're wondering about the pipes, these pipes are from this mod right here. I I casters uh, decoration, and I really love this 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 piping system. Like, it really makes um, the designs uh, look better. Like a lo a lower profile. It's more lean, more I would say streamlined. You can have streamlined designs with uh, with this mod because the pipes in, in Vanilla Space Engineers are huge. I think that would work. But definitely that that is an improvement. And now let's place the, the catwalk. Because I want to make sure that everything works together. The problem is that I will need probably something to... I will need something. Let's place this, these um, blocks here. So that I, ca I can have something to attach to. And now the catwalk. Hopefully this will work. Yeah, that that will work. Uh, but I guess this one doesn't go there. But I need, um, yeah, I need something different there. Just let me. Um, Uh, where is it now? Which one is it? Oh no, wait. This one is doesn't go here. Is the this one? There. And then we need the other stairs. But 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 Okay, that's that's good so far, and then the stairs. Well, that's it. This is the like the that's everything I took out, right? Um, I think the camera. The camera is not there, right? I took it out. Okay, so let's place the camera again. Mm. 
let's place our camera done so let's see let's let's make the test again we have to replace these things I guess this should work. There. Great. So there we have it, guys. We are connected now. So we can have now um, a cargo container there as a module. And um, yeah, we could also have um, it's not like the the refinery could also be um, you could also have the refinery as well the, the 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 advance but not in this layout right well this 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 is a lot of stuff right there like you have the the advanced refinery you have um, an engine you have um, a tank I think it's a hydrogen tank so many things now we have to be more um, economic with with our designs but i think this this is going to work um, just fine as well um, you can if, if you need more space you can even um, extend this to let's say half a block you could have half a block here no problem with that but then that means that you are three like four blocks you can have up to four blocks um, with but um, or, or I should say long or blocks long but um, with a caveat that you have to have the one of the blocks being half and a half right like this so that that doesn't create problems we can perfectly have something like this um, and the width the width can be uh, in fact arbitrarily wide I would say in principle but but we are limited in the length so for example if you want to carry several um, storage containers you will do it like this right You will do something like this. And this, I think this ship can carry um, that much. Well, I don't know if they are, if the, of course, we have to see this is a test to, that we would have to do, right? If, if we can really um, carry. three large containers full of um, of stuff well it, it may also be that it depends what we are carrying like the, the total mass yeah but then comes like the testing phase right 
Okay, guys, but but I think I like this design. I, uh, if, if you you can um, write in the comments, what do you think? Um, but one thing I like about this, ah, of course, I, we are we are um, parked. One thing about I, I like about this design is that I see something like this um, in the moon, like <laughs> like with this really industrial look and feel. Like this is more r realistic. It's it's not fancy, but it's um, realistic, and it's a very functional design. And I think, uh, well, this um, this eagle transporter design is is um, is very um, versatile. I wonder if one day we will see something like this on the moon. But for the time being, I hope you like the video and hope to see you in the next one. This Cyber Settler signing off.